What up, guys? Today is Zoe Beats with a vocal uh, tutorial for Kiaster 3. Yes, I finally came out with a vocal tutorial. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, what you're going to want to do is download the link of both these applications. And I also got a tutorial showing you how to import MP3, I mean, instrumentals on Kiaster 3, and you can uh, rap. I'm going to show you how to take that too. So, yeah, uh, Open up the link of Audio Evolution. And as you can see, I'm about to reopen up a recent project file I had. Yeah, guys, a lot is coming near you guys. So, yeah, what I have is the instrumental and, and I have a couple of takes, the chorus right here. And, uh, and I got the vocals, the verse for the vocals. So yeah, uh, not to be too precise, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is depend on you. You gotta really know your tempo because when uh you're doing this, you gonna it depend on your beat. You know what I'm saying? You got a beat that just start off with just a verse intro and a uh and then it goes to a verse. You're just gonna do the verse and then put the chorus. And then if your it, it all depend on 80, 95. That's when you're gonna do a four probably like a four bar uh chorus and the two and break it down in two bars on your verses if you have a tempo of probably like 120 and you know just know your tempos 120 to 110 or under 105 or such you're gonna do basically probably like 108 uh and up of your tempo so you're gonna want to do an eight bar chorus and a four bar verse so yeah as you can see mine is at 80 BPM, so I have did a four bar chorus right here, right here. Uh, as you can see, the green lit cue. So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, you gonna want to do something like that, and you gonna uh, you can add a couple of effects, not uh, echo, reverb, nothing like delay. You gonna want to do that uh, with Ancastic, but like to boost it up and tighten up of uh, your for clear, crisp uh, vocal sounds. You will wanna um. You can add like some stuff in the inserts like compressors. Uh you do the multi band, uh barricade compressor, the answer, all that. So yeah, uh well I just did it wasn't that you no, know, I was just trying to see if it would work and it came out working pretty all right. All I did was brace my uh highest mids, mid frequencies and lows to the max and I lowered my volume because it would make it loud. And here's the tip, the biggest tip. Uh make sure y'all uh trim uh cut the pieces of the um yeah the the pieces of everything as you can see at the beginning you don't got rid and make sure you get all the noise out if you got noise in there use the noise gate and yeah as you can see i trim the end and and you don't really got worried if it's too much at the end you know because you're going some like i'm gonna show you in the video so yeah uh bring everything to the beginning Of the beat, and this is for the chiastic usage, you know, because like I'm gonna show you why, you know, because you know when you're doing like the tape, and you know it go by how much the length of the instrumental was and how long it take, like within the the instrumental, like if I had like probably like forty seconds, and then a verse on that instrumental, it gonna actually be blank for forty seconds, so you gonna wanna trim that and basically. Uh, do your takes take by take and not all within each other. Do not do that because you will have to cut and slice and you know it's racing. To, you know, I'm just giving strong information. People do this, you know, people will actually right here and wrap the whole thing. You know, I mean, you got other, other methods you could do that, but this is the strongest and simplest method. So, as far to other dog, name it. And I'm just gonna name mine ZZZ Sleep. Whatever you want to call it, uh, keep it at wave because that's the only format I know possibly that you got. Uh, I haven't tried really no other uh bit rate because I don't know if it will crash. Keep it at mono, uh, 24 bit rate in export and open up Kiastic and go to. Open up Kiastic. 